trying to go home. I have my baby in the car and attack me in front of the ma'am. kids. Okay, ma'am. Repeat now the address. Now messing up my tires. Ma'am. So ma'am. Can you help me? Ma'am, repeat the address. I need to send Eunice to you. I need the address. Please help me. You're going to kill me. Good afternoon. I'm Stefan Dingle. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and here on WJZ TV. Updating the breaking news we first told you about at 9, boxer and Baltimore native Javante Davis has been arrested in South Florida on charges of domestic violence causing bodily harm. This is his mugshot that was just released to WJZ. At last check, he remains in custody at the Broward County Jail. And this is just the latest in his legal troubles. Davis is scheduled to appear in a Baltimore Circuit Court in February for his alleged involvement in an unrelated hit and run incident from November of 2020. Now, this latest arrest comes as Davis prepares to headline a boxing card in Washington, D.C. on January 7th. He was scheduled to fight lightweight Hector Luis Garcia. Now, still unclear this noon uh, about how this latest arrest would affect that fight. WJZ is working to learn more about Davis's latest run-in with the law. And we will, of course, have the very latest coming up today at 4. Now... This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verses 24 to 25, and it reads this. To keep thee from the evil woman, from the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman, lust not after her beauty in thine heart, neither let her take thee with her eyelids. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akiam out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Proverbs 6 from the top, verses 24 to 25, and it reads this. To keep thee from the evil woman, from the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman, lust not after her beauty in thine, eye, in thine heart, neither let her take thee with her eyelids. So, you know, with us, you know, <clears throat> building a foundation with these women in, in Babylon, man, they bring on, you know, they, their philosophies, their ways, how they see things. So, you know, you got these weak men, Okay, here in Babylon, especially you Jakes that are uh, literally uh, 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 conform to their ways, man. You know, just because you see a woman with, you know, all that war paint on and you, you see the beauty, the body and everything else. So you, you don't you don't think what you with your mental. You think with your uh, your reproductive organ, man. OK, and, and, and you go through stuff like this, man. You know, you have the woman, you know, beat on you and spit on you, put feces on your damn utensils that you use to brush your teeth with. OK, damage your house and then turn around and call Esau and, and paint you out to be the criminal, paint you out to be the bad guy, man. OK, so you were supposed to uh, uh, make these women conform to our ways, man. OK, which is the ways of Yahweh Hashim, Yahweh Shah, man. OK, and also, too, man, a, a, a wicked woman is given to a, a wicked man, man. Point blank, period, man. OK, Yahweh Hashim, Yahweh Shah, all his judgments are just and balanced, man. OK. So you should not be lusting after a woman uh, 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 just because of her beauty, man. Okay? And matter of fact, let's jump here real quick. Let's go to Ephesians. Because neither one of y'all, you know, whether it be man or woman, should be putting your hands on your husband or your wife, man. Okay? This is Ephesians chapter 5, starting off at verse 28. And it reads this. So ought men 
to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. And that's correct, man. And you know, in these times that we're living in right now, man, you know, you're not going to have a fully righteous man or a fully righteous woman, man. But the thing is, are you attempting to follow what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah told you to do, man? Are you uh, putting that effort uh, 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 every single day more and more? Not just the same effort. You have to apply more, okay? Okay, just like when you go to work and Esau wants you to apply more effort to uh, please him and get your work done, whatever the case may be. So, you know, use that same drive. Use that same drive to uh, 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 in this truth, man. Okay? Verse 29. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, even as Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, the church. And that's right, man. And your woman is of your flesh, man. Once you know you, you, you get married, which is uh, uh, getting married is, uh, you know, through sex. Okay? It's not no damn documentation from the uh, from the courts. It's not no agreement with the state. Okay? It's an agreement with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. So when you uh, enter into that woman, you're basically... Uh, 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 acknowledging and uh, submitting to uh, the Lord that this is going to be your wife. Okay, point blank, period, man. There's no way around that. Okay, it's not no documentation. All right. So let's keep on going. Uh, verse thirty. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife. And they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Hamashiach in the church. Okay, verse 33. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife, even as himself. And the wife see, see that she reverence her husband. And you know, as we live in Babylon today, man, you know, the woman is not worried about, especially you Israelite men. Okay, and furthermore, when it comes to men, period, but especially you Israelite men, because we're under the curses. Uh, but the women are not worried about, you know, being uh, 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 wives. They're not worried about, you know, being mothers. They're not worried about, you know, taking care of the household. They're not worried about uh, 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 being servants to their husbands, man. Okay, they're worried about chasing the bag, how they look, their body, you know, going on vacation, and amongst other things too, man. Okay, period, man. They're not worried about uh, uh, pleasing the Lord, but you men, you know, you go all out of your wits. Everything that you do is for a woman. You don't do anything for yourself, okay? Everything that you you do right now here in Babylon the Great is to gain women, man, okay? And we're supposed to be focused on Yahweh Ba'a Shem Yahweh Shah. We're supposed to be following the law, statutes, and commandments and fearing him, okay? Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13 and 14, read that. That's our purpose, man, okay? Period, that's our purpose, man. But what do y'all do, man? Let's let the Bible talk, man. Instead of me speaking on it, let's let the scriptures talk. Y'all know where I'm going. First Edris chapter four. I'm going to start off at verse 23. And this is the type of situation you get yourself into, man. Okay. And, and I don't know if any, any of y'all, Aki and Aquav saw what's going on. So like, let me say this real quick. Um, but uh, this box is basically, uh, you know, they, they had a news feed where, you know, the, the audio from his uh, wife calling in, talking about she's gonna, he's going to kill... Uh, He's going to kill her, et cetera, et cetera. And then um, the next clip is, is him showing that she started it all, you know, that she spit on him, you know, the, the, the damaged the house or whatever the case may be. Okay. Put feces on his uh, uh, utensils that he used to brush his teeth. Okay. But then turned around, you know, after she did all that, turned around, called the police on him, said that he was the one, you know, being aggressive and said that he was the one doing this and doing that. Okay, these women know that they have an angle against you, man. They know that they have backup, okay, which is Esau, man. They know they can do whatever the hell they want and, and, and get away with it, man. Okay, and, and now your face is all over the news and your career is being uh, uh, destroyed right before your eyes, man. But this is uh, 1 Edges chapter 4, starting off at verse 23, and it reads this. Yea, a man take up his sword and go of his way to rob and to steal and to sell upon the sea and upon rivers. And looketh upon a lion, and goeth in the darkness. And when he hath stolen, spoiled, and robbed, he bringeth it to his love. Wherefore, a man loveth his wife better than father or mother. Yea, many there be 
that have run out of their wits for women, okay, and become servants for their sex. And we see that, man, okay, because you got these men, you know, uh, uh, doing everything they can to 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 uh, get a, a certain sexual market value by you making a certain amount of money, having a certain amount of luxury in life, cars, cribs, etc., just to gain women, okay, off of your status, man. Instead of you know doing these things for yourself, man. Okay, and then once you get these women that you know that 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 everybody has had, okay, all the Pookies and the Ray Rays and the Chads and the Tyrones and stuff and had and then ran through, just just for being you know disrespectful and a uh, 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 bad guys towards these women, you know when you you men get them, <laughs> you know you become servants for their sake so you know to keep them happy to keep them comfortable, why you why you going through hell, man? Okay, point blank period, man. It's supposed to be the opposite. Your woman's supposed to be pleasing you, okay? And, and, and this this is a, a, a prime example of you becoming a servant. And what happens? Many also have perished and have erred and sinned for women. So, you know, he, 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 he erred and he sinned for a woman, man. And now, look, he's perishing, man. His career is being uh, put on the line. His name is being uh, put in the dirt, okay? Now, now, now you're always going to be looked at as a woman beater, man, okay? You're always going to be looked at as a woman beater, man. Okay? And, and, and what, did, what did Paul say, man? Paul said it, man. Paul said it, man. In these times, having a wife, you're going to have trouble in the flesh. Let's get that real quick. Paul said it, man. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7, uh, starting off in verse 28, and it reads this. But and if thou marry, thou hast not sinned. And if a virgin marry, which we know... <laughs> It's it's a zero 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 point zero 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 one percent chance if you're gonna get a virgin, man. I don't see it happen. I mean, me me personally, I've had one in my life that actually belonged to me. Okay. But it, but and if thou marry, thou hast not sinned, and if a virgin marry, she have not sinned. Nevertheless, such shall have trouble in the flesh. But I spare you, and this is trouble in the flesh, man. Okay, this is the, the 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 nigger woman, the Israelite woman, okay, from Judah on down to Issachar, using a privilege, they they uh they their backup, their tag team partner, Esau motherfucking Edom, man. Reading on verse 29. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they had none. And that's true, man. Okay, and that's gonna keep you a uh, uh, balance, man. To be as if you didn't have a wife. So you can do the work of your Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? So you can have a clear mind, man. And not be consumed and overwhelmed with pleasing your woman. Becoming a servant for her sake to make her happy, to make her comfortable. And you being stressed out. No, man. Be as you don't have one, man. Okay? So your mind can be clear. Your thoughts can be at ease, man. Okay, because you don't want to be like this dude right here, man. You know, his whole career is probably gone down the drain now because your wife, you know, she done fucked you up, spit on you, put, like I said, put doo doo on your damn uh, 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 <laughs> toothbrush and everything else, you know, damaged the house, uh, bit your nipple, <laughs> all types of things, and turned around and called the police on you, said that, said that you was going to was aggressive one and you, killed, uh, you was going to kill her and all this other stuff, man. And what happened? You on the news now. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that they probably got a uh, a protective order against you that you can't go near her. And if you got any kids, well, you probably can't see your kids, man. Okay? Esau's going to defend it the end of, man. Okay? Jake, you're always going to be looked at as a criminal. Matter of fact, let's let the Bible speak. Let's go to Ezekiel real quick. Let me show, let me show you what they're doing, man. So Ezekiel 16. So like you. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 40, and it reads this. They shall also bring up a company against thee. And that's what she that's what she did. She brought up a company against you, man. Okay, first she called the police. Okay, the police came, found out who you was. <laughs> and then then all obviously, you know, the the uh the news people got whiff of the story, to, you know, to demonize Jake. And then they got your face, you know, your mug shot on on the on the news, putting you on a, a blast, okay, bringing that company against you. Okay, now you got to go to court. You got to face the judge. You got to pay legal fees, etc. Okay, you 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 got you got a, a protective order against uh, your wife now. And like I said, if you got kids, you probably won't be able to see your kids. And if you do, it's going to be certain uh, procedures and steps you got to go to to see your children, man. 
Okay, trust me. Hey, look, man, I've been through this. Okay, that's why I can say it and speak on it. I've been through this shit. All right, it's it's, it's stressful. All, all to please a woman. All to you know uh 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 uh. uh Make sure that she's comfortable. Make sure, make sure that she's right. Ezekiel 16, verse 40 from the top. They shall also bring up a company against thee, and they shall stone thee with stones. But in this case, those stones that they stone you with is, you know what? A, a, a protective order. Your, your, your face is on, on the news. You know, they demonizing your name. Your career is on the line now. You might not be able, be able to fight your next fight. Okay, you got fines. You got court costs. Okay. And she might divorce you if she married to you, you know, in, in the Babylon sense. But we know through the Isaiah, how about Shimei Shah, she's already a wife. But in Babylon sense, you know, you might have to pay for lawyers. You're going to have to pay for lawyers because this, this is going to court. OK, and, you know, if you get convicted, you're going to have to pay, pay to, to pay to be in jail. You have to pay to be in jail. OK, this, this is how demonic and wicked this fucking place is. Man, you got to pay to be in jail and you got to have money in your books, your commissary. Okay, these these are those stones that they're preparing to throw at you, man. Okay, you die you die different ways here in, in in Babylon in the society, man. Okay, and they shall stone thee with stones and thrust thee and thrust through with their swords, man. Okay, and again, literally, man, and spiritually, you die plenty plenty of different times, man. And those swords can be, like I said, you know, fines, court costs. Okay, uh, 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 take away your career and your career forever, you know. Okay, that sword can be anything right now in this situation. Okay, but this, you know, this is what these women do. Let's get this real quick. This is exactly what these women do, man. Let's jump back to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 7. I'm going to read verse 31 because this is what these women do. And they that use this world, because these women use this world, why? Because they're in cahoots with Esau. They have an agreement, a covenant with Esau, man. Okay, Esau provides three Ps, man. Okay, provision, protection. And uh, what's the other one? Uh, Slakia. Provision, protection, and uh, something else. Slakia. I can't think of it. But he provides those three P's for, uh, uh, you know, the, the Israelite woman, man. Okay? <clears throat> and they that use this world as not abusing it, and they, they abuse it, man, for the fashion of this world passive away. So they use this world and abuse this world, man. Okay? But little do they know. It's not going to be like this forever. You're not going to be able to, you know, swear up with your man. And and, and and furthermore, the Israelite woman only does that to you, Jake's, man. She'll only swear up with you, put hands on you, spit on you, put feces on your, your toothbrush, etc. Uh, uh, destroy the house, you know, your property, all that. But when it comes to any other nation, so-called white man or, you know, uh, Arab or anything like that, she'll, uh, 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 she'll know her place. Okay, I've seen plenty of videos with a so-called white man uh, uh, cussing, uh, you know, the nigga woman out and doing this and doing that. And what does she do? She backs up and she asks for help. But when it comes to you Israelites, she squares up with you. She tries to uh, uh, take you on. She feels she can whoop your ass, man. Okay, and that's just going to change, man. Okay, 911 is, is not going to be uh, uh, here no more to save you, man. Okay, period, man. It's going to come to a point in time. All the wickedness and all the BS that you have done, okay, the Lord is going to reverse that on you and you're going to be judged for it, man, okay? Period, man. You're going to be judged for it, man, okay? So get ready. Matter of fact, let's close out here, man. The point is made, man. Let's, let's get a clear depiction of, because <laughs> uh, we can go into it deep, but let's just get one scripture to give you a clear depiction of what's going to happen for you uh, wicked-ass women in, 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 in the days, man, okay? This is... Uh, and and furthermore, Salakia, man, this is this is this is this is a lesson for for both, man. You know, not not uh just for the Israelite woman, but for the Israelite man too, man. Okay, this is a prime example to show you that you're blessed to be in this truth to not go through nonsense like this. Because like I said, I've been through this, man. Okay, I've been through this. I've had false reports from my ex demon where I had to go to court. Okay, and I had to call her father and let her father know what's going on, and her and her father. Her father had to intervene and come to court and basically set things straight to get me off because of his daughter lying on me, man. Okay? Period, man. It's, 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 hey, look, man. A matter of fact, Salakia, I, re I remember one time, quick, quick, uh, a testimony real quick, Salakia. So, so this, this goes, this goes perfect in with the lesson, Salakia. I remember one time when my ex-demon wanted to go out to the club 
And she would always go out. Because, you know, at, at this point now that I'm in the truth, I knew what she was doing now. But back then I didn't because I was stupid. I was simple. I was in the world. I was a simp. But now that I know, you know, I had took the keys and, and this wicked, this wicked bitch, I'm just going to say what it is because she's shameless still to this day. Got a damn knife out the kitchen, uh, uh, chased me through the house outside. The neighbors called the police, said what happened. And did you not know the police still sided with her? I didn't touch her. I didn't do nothing. And she was trying to stab me with a knife just because she wanted to go out to the club. And you know, you know what the police told her? He said, all you got, uh, they both two of them said, all you have to do is tell us that he did something to you, that he touched you, this or that, and we'll take him to jail. And we'll take him to jail. Hey, man, you, you, you jakes think you got freedom and, and privileges in this place, man. Hey, look, man, this is a nightmare for us, man. But you're, you're going to learn the hard way. So lock it. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, starting off at verse 30, and then at 31, and it reads this. And when thou art spoiled, what will thou do? Okay, so what you going to do when, when that judgment come? When you can't call these red silverback cave gorillas for backup? Though thou clothest thyself with crimson, though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, though thou rentest thy face with painting, okay, that war paint, with painting in vain, shall thou make thyself fair? Thy lovers, okay, okay, those, those Edomites that had your back, okay, the, the, the court system, the, the, as they say, the judicial system, okay, 911, the police, Okay, those jobs that Esau gave you, all that, your lovers, okay, all the benefits, the privileges that you had, the liberty, okay, that you had here in Babylon, okay, thy lovers will despise thee. E e Esau's already despising you, 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 uh, uh, Israelite woman, you nigger woman, man, okay, and again, Judah on down to Issachar, thy lovers will despise thee, they will seek thy life, okay, period, man. And you're gonna be, you're gonna be, you're gonna be made known that that you that you ain't that you ain't uh uh, uh exempt from what uh, his, their new agenda is gonna be, man. Okay, verse thirty one. For I have heard a voice of a woman in travail. Okay, did not in the beginning uh, when she called nine one one was just did not did not this woman sound like she was in tra travail that after she did what she did to her husband? Yes, and the anguish as of her that bringeth forth her first child. The voice of the daughter of Zion that be well of herself, that spread of her hands, saying, Woe is me. <coughs> so like that spread of her hands, saying, Woe is me now, for my soul is worried because of murderers. And she called 911 and said, He's going to kill me. He's going to kill me. Help me. Help me. Help me. In these days to come, you're not going to be able to dial 911. Okay? Just like I did a video. When you had this Edomite call the police, you know, because her boyfriend was trying to get in the house. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Elder Malcolm said he got in the house. He raped her <laughs> and did some other stuff. But it's going to come to a point in time. You ain't, you ain't even going to be able to dial 911. You ain't going to be able to get through. OK, ain't going to be no uh, uh, operators to pick up. Ain't going to be no police, man, because everybody's going to worry about their own family and survival and everything else, man. So, man, that's a clear depiction of things to come, man. OK. It's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot of woe is me now, spreading your hands, asking for help. Okay, all 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 that remnant, all that gold, all that war paint, all everything that you've done to be in to be in, in this world because you love this world is gonna to come to an end, man. Point blank, period, man. So, man, Lord willing, I hope and I pray that this is edifying and uplifting to the true sincere Akinwa Akwaf. So, with that, I'm just gonna say, Shalom. Baby in the car and attack me in front of the Okay, ma'am, repeat the address. Ma'am, ma'am, repeat the address. I need to send Eunice to you. I need the address. Please help me. You're gonna kill me.